So today is the day before my fishing trip. I'm in the process of collecting bait worms. I'm just bringing it in just to show that today I am having good fortune. Loads of these large sized worms in the bag they go. See there are like four of them. Now we ate these quite some specimens. I'd expect them to be in their breeding ponds by now, especially since it's well into spring. <laughs> Macro particle. Today I'm at Worthing Pier for a pier that offers free fishing. It's reasonably long, I must say, although I haven't caught anything from this pier yet. I've been here, made two previous, had two previous fishing sessions here. So following the success of my worm collection yesterday, well, that's what I'm using as bait. This time I'm bringing along two rods and these worms are nice and juicy like last that oh, crap fish <laughs> look look snagged into my finger this time I haven't dried the worms as much so they are still more lively which will provide plenty more action on the rod yeah I set up my base here as this screen and that building offers some shelter from the wind. Speaking of which, despite being in a relatively neap tide, it's quite rough. In fact, so much so that, well, I don't think this is the only reason I haven't been here for over a year. This lo the loading bay is closed as well. Not much of a problem. I'll simply rest my rods here and cast diagonally that way. My first fish of the day. A cat shark, ain't that nice? Not a bad size either. Well, also known as dogfish, prefer cat shark. Anyway, I'm gonna get this unhooked and film myself killing it just like I do with the, all my other catches. <laughs> maybe you can, maybe we, maybe I can make fin tail soup out of these. I don't know, apparently cat sharks don't taste very good. Well, I'll find out myself when I cook it at home. So now this is the time of the video, part of the video I'm gonna dispatch of this thing so that I don't get my finger in the way of the camera this time I'll hold it in my hold the phone in my right hand and do the business with my left one so as I don't have professional recording software and this is relatively big fish say one of the, the biggest fish I've biggest sea fish I've caught so far. I'm going to use my big bucket to weigh it down. Hopefully it won't jiggle all over the place when I whack it with the pliers. Okay, here goes. Actually now I have to hold it in my right hand. Here it goes. eventually actually 
actually I take it back this is not the biggest or baddest fish I've caught those would be the mullet now those are real real fighters damn this guy's skin is as rough as sandpaper sound I think I hit its brain a good enough times that was just the, the nerves moving moving it Interesting, these guys stop moving when they're dead. Looks like their nerves aren't so aren't very active. I must say though, skin's as rough as sandpaper oh, when I'm brushing against the dive you know, against the alignment of where the scales would be if it were any other fish, but if I were to brush this way it's quite smooth. Well, I wouldn't say smooth, but smoother. Oh yeah, it's length. Oh, its tail is still swishing a bit. This is the this is a 30 centimeter ruler, just for comparison. So I'm guessing that this is roughly fit just under 50 centimeters long. <laughs> it is wagging its tail slightly like a much like a cat or dog. Maybe that maybe that those names cat shark dogfish maybe they're suitable for this fella after all. This will probably be my only fish of the day, I mean it'll be the evening soon and cold weather like this I'll probably just get fed up and go home especially since it's quite windy too this time my smaller rod not as and smaller fish nowhere near as significant as the cat shark but nevertheless you have this is it What's the name of this species is it called scorpion fish or I remember I caught fish like this. Last time I caught fish like this, that was it was back in in uh, Seaford in the rock pools. On second thoughts, I think this thing is called a bullhead. Obviously, I'm grabbing it in a funny way because its head, just the shape of it, really creeps me out. I just don't want to get bitten by this thing. Ugh. Anyway. Off it goes. Whip. Well, I'm not going to be fishing here for so much longer. I'd say half an hour before I start packing up. Still a bit of activity in this section, especially on this rod. I've seen it's been vibrating quite a bit. Let's check it out. Now it's almost 9 p.m., 21 o'clock, and just as I was in the process of packing up, well, my small rod is already packed up, as I was reeling in my large, well, the rig corresponding to my large rod, fuck me, another cat shark. This one has really good tangle of my rig, much like that eel back in that November video. <laughs> it looks like it's it's strangled itself but it's still alive. Obviously since I already have one on film I'm not gonna film myself dispatching of it so that's gonna happen off camera. So that'll be two dogfish for this trip and a bullhead. 
now it's roughly half past nine I'm all packed up and ready to head home I must say it's been quite a productive session and my first time at Worthing Pier where I actually caught a fish <laughs> 